Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be reviewing another slingshot from my favorite custom maker, Sir Bert Lingat of BL Slingshot. The maker calls it BL Aslag. Wow. I don't know kung tama yung pronunciation ko. But I think the meaning of Aslag is ray of light. So, ray of light for me, napaka gandan timing. Because uh, for me, it is uh, parang someone or something that gives you joy during challenging times so basically we're on a challenging time because of the pandemic so we need to have a ray of light or ray of hope para we continue our life nice. the slingshot that we will be talking about is a white framed slingshot kulay white sya it is an over-the-top configuration and the material used is a high density polyethylene or HDPE at ang ginamit na core is solid brass wow solid brass yung kaya medyo alam nyo na pang heavy duty for those who want naman na through the forks or TTF eh madali namang kausap si Sir Bert so just talk to him request what you need and gagawin nyo right. I have requested this design kasi may nakita ko sa internet na isang white na frame slingshot uh, nagustuhan ko siya I think if I'm not mistaken it's an old Scout XT na white yung frame and brown yung kanyang grip so I asked Sir Bert uh, can you make a white frame slingshot for me uh, I also requested a different size and some uh, recommendation for the design para comfortable ang aking grip so the result is this a very elegant design from BL Slingshot. Nakikita nyo, it's with brass core, no? And HDPE in white. Nagulat ako, no? Kasi, he also installed clips. Sabi kasi niya, nahalata daw niya na nahihirapan na ako sa rap and tuck dahil nga sa mga joint pains ko. Kaya, he put a screw and clip para mabilis ang installing and pagpapalit ng hacking bands. Plus, meron pa siyang extra. Nice. No? Uh, lanyard bead na pareho ng material with the frame. Though, hindi naman ako talaga hirap masyado sa rap and tuck method. But definitely, having the clip, much easier na ang pagpapalit ko ng bands. So, basically, the specifications is as I said, material is HDPE with brass core no ang kanyang fork width is 95 mm which is hindi common doon sa ginagamit ko but i requested that kasi medyo nag-experiment tayo ng iba't ibang sizes no ang kanyang uh, fork tip is 22 mm ang length niya is 130 mm ang kanyang fork gap is 51 mm and ang kanyang depth is 30 millimeters so you have ample space ang weight niya of course this is brass core kaya medyo on the heavier side siya for the testing we will be using a of course the sniper sling yellow uh, 0.5 millimeter and the sniper sling pouch ammunition na gagamitin natin is 9.5 millimeter and the target is 5 cm with a distance of 10 meters. So, umpisa na natin.
Okay. Natapos na tayo. Mukhang medyo maganda pulso ko ngayon, ha? Sunod-sunod ang tama. Walang mintis. Anyway, for the final thoughts, no? Ah, hindi mo ako binigo. The material, as I have said, is HDPE. HDPE, basically, it's a thermoplastic uh, polymer. So, not, nothing special on this material, but for me, it is a great material, especially for beginners like me. Bakit? Because the material, even though tamaan mo ng tamaan, no, fork heat, no, so, of course, uh, lahat tayo dumaan sa fork heat, except yung mga special talaga na magagaling na masters. This material can endure it, meaning it can experience fork heat hundreds of times, but it would only develop superficial Oops, may text ako Ignore mo na natin no. uh, Ano na nga ba sabi? It only develops superficial cosmetic damage Wow, big word no? Superficial? It's only on the surface And then cosmetic damage is only affecting yung panlabas na anyo so, pag tinamaan, syempre magkakaroon ng dimple And every time tamaan yan, no, maapektuhan ang kanyang physical appearance But the function, the performance would not be affected So, yun ang maganda sa HDPE For the grip naman, very sexy siya And the sexy curve, dun ko nilalagay ang aking middle and ring finger Once na nakabalot na yan dito sa curve na to Definitely, it's like a glove. It locks in place. Kahit na basa ang aking kamay with sweat, no? Hindi siya slippery. So, nakalak na siya. Yung corners naman, na design. Akala ko nung una, medyo maapektuhan ang aking grip. Kasi, baka matalim or hindi siya komportable. But, nagulat ako. Rounded pala ang kanyang mga corners very small round so basically when you hold it there is no hot spot the grip style is designed for pinch grip normal naman yon it's my favorite choice of grip but it can also be thumb braced or even hammer grip so very versatile ang kanyang grip the palm swell naman if you notice this is the palm swell and then Sa opposite niya, meron din. Palm swell is very good para sa pagpo-position ng kamay ko. And, the opposite na bulge naman, really locks into place yung hands ko. Kaya, it would not slip. And, it is also ambidextrous. No, left or right hand, pwede to. So, again, versatility in using this slingshot. For the weight naman, uh, given that is solid brass, no, it is understandable na medyo on the heavier side siya. But it is very good in hunting. Kasi because of the structure and the weight, kayang-kaya niya ang heavy band set. Kaya okay na okay siya for hunting. But of course, in my case, okay na okay din siya pang tournament. For the accuracy naman, the grip, uh, as I said, helps me to be consistent yung grip design niya kasi pa, every time I hold it it's on the same place so accuracy follows consistency and for the design uh, eh, alam naman natin yung maker very accommodating siya whatever I want gagawin niya but there is always a recommendation from him because as I said he's the expert I'm a beginner so every time I ask him to do something he will say it is safe or not. Kung hindi safe, he would recommend something na kaaya-aya pa rin dun sa gusto mong design. Like this, originally, I am just thinking of a plain white slingshot. As I said, nakita ko ito sa internet and I want to have one as well. Pero, because of his experience, no, sa tagal na niyang gumagawa na slingshot, you will see that he made a very elegant slingshot 
at the same time it functions well doon sa mga needs ko because of my problems in my hands no nasasagot yun at natutulungan ako to be accurate as a summary the grip feels good in my hands the shape helps me to be consistent and it's very uh, comfortable and ergonomic plus it's ambidextrous also do sa mga TTF users just talk to Sir Bert and he will definitely make a TTF this uh, version for you no it shoots great very consistent and therefore accuracy can be obtained the finish is very nice and of course I love the elegant design and finally the weight is great even for heavy bandset kayang kaya niya to no there is no unnecessary stress when using it so it's a joy to use all right that's it for today's video if you like my presentation please click on the like button and share nyo na rin po and for those na hindi pa nakaka-subscribe what are you waiting for guys subscribe na kayo and click on the bell icon for notification thank you